Okay, welcome back. This is pre-calc 7.4. And as we go through these things, you got to make sure um, you're careful about your notation. So we're doing 7.4 day two, and I'm going to decompose. This is on, uh, what page is this on for y'all? This is our exploration. Uh, there's a, another method in that exploration. I'm not going to show you that method. I figured if we have one method, we'd be pretty darn happy about it. So we are going to go on um, page 28 at the bottom. We are looking at 5x squared minus 21x plus 13 all over x plus 2, the quantity x times x minus 3 squared. So now, set it up. A is equal to x plus 2 plus B, X minus 3, plus C, X minus 3 quantity squared. And now I'm going to clear fractions. So I've got 5X squared minus 21X plus 13. And I've got A <coughs> times X minus 3 squared plus B, X minus plus 2, X plus 2, X minus 3. plus C, X plus 2. Okay, now distribute. <clears throat> I've got A, X squared minus 6, A, X plus 9, A. And now I've got uh, plus B, X squared minus B, X minus 6b, and then I've got plus cx plus 2c. Now again, keep in mind, we have 5x squared minus 21x plus 13. I'm going to combine like terms so we can see what value goes with which uh, item. And I'm going to go with a and b. I'm going to take those things as x. So I'll I've got the x squareds coming my way, a plus b, x squared. Now I'm going to go after the x's. So I've got plus negative 6a plus b plus c, x. And finally, I'm going to go after this, the uh, constants. So I got plus 9a uh, minus 6b plus 2c. Now, keep in mind which thing goes with what item here. And what I mean by that is this. The ab goes with 5. So a plus b equals 5. And I've got negative Okay, we made a mistake here and copying things down on the board. So here's what we're going to do. We've got, at this point, um, this is a negative B right there. So we got to make sure that that's a negative. That's a negative B. And now I've got negative 6A minus B plus C is equal to negative 21. And then I've got 9A minus 6B plus 2c is equal to 13. And now I'm going to do a reduced row echelon form of my augmented matrix with 1, 1, 0, 5, negative 6, negative 1, 1, negative 21, and 9, negative 6, 2, 13. Now, place that in your calculator and hit enter, and that should shoot out our first part of our solution. Now, after your uh, calculator hits enter, you have 1, 0, 0 there, 0, 1, 0, 0, 0, 1, and you have 3, 2, negative 1 for our answers here. And what that means is... <clears throat> We have our values for our A, B, and C. So now our solution, 5x squared minus 21x plus 13, all over 
x plus 2 x minus 3 squared is equal to our a is 3 x plus 2 our b is 2 x minus 3 and our c is negative 1 x minus 3 quantity squared okay now sliding on we're going to go to the bottom here and talk about a um, irreducible uh, quadratic formula factor that's repeated so when we set this up we have a x squared plus 1 but it's a x plus b as we go through and the reason why we do that is remember that the bottom's linear the top's a constant if the bottom's a quadratic the top's linear and that's what we've set up so now we have a cx plus d where x squared plus one squared is our solution so when we multiply to clear our fraction we have ax plus b times the quantity x squared plus 1 plus cx plus d okay as we're going now let's get this going on I've got ax cubed okay uh, plus ax plus bx squared plus b plus cx plus d and again we still have 2x cubed minus x squared plus 5x. Now, we're going to combine terms together, so we're going to get that going. And as we get that going, let's get the cubes together, ax cubed. Okay, then we're going to get the uh, x squareds together. <coughs> so our x squareds is uh, plus bx squared. Now we're going to get our x's together, plus a plus c x, and then we'll get our plane numbers together, b and d. Okay, now going back to um, a cube, well gosh, a is equal to 2. And then the greens for the x's, I've got b is equal to negative 1. And I've got a plus c is equal to 5. And then my last one, I have b plus d is equal to 0. So I put set up my augmented matrix, and I, well, I have a pretty gosh darn good idea. I'm not going to set up an augmented matrix. I'm going to do this one by systems. I already know that A is 2 and B is negative 1 <coughs> here as I'm going. I just got to find out what A plus C is. Well, A plus C is 5, and since A is 2, 2 plus C is 5, so C must therefore be 3. And now I've got another one here. I know B plus D is equal to 0, and I know B is negative 1, so D must be 1. So I have the solutions for my problem right here. So let's rewrite that. And I have 2x cubed minus x squared plus 5x all over x squared plus 1 squared equal 2x minus 1 because a is 2 and b is negative 1 over x squared plus 1 plus and now because c is 3 x plus 1 and d is 1 I've got x squared plus 1 quantity squared and that is my partial fraction solution. Okay.
turning the page, we got our last one coming up here. Um, each part of the partial fraction decomposition of a rational function plays a central role in the analysis of its graph. We can use it, use it to describe the end behavior of the graph at its asymptotes. Okay, so now when I have something like this and notice the degrees are the same, I've got to use long division. I've got x squared minus 4 goes into 2x squared plus x minus 14. And now I go in there and say, well, it goes in there twice, and I've got 2x squared minus 8. Okay, so I subtract, and I get 0, and I subtract again, so I get x plus 8, excuse me, x plus 6 as my result. Or minus 6, excuse me. I'm adding 8 to that. That's a subtract. That's an add, so x minus 6. Okay, so... When I first do my decomposition, I'm looking at the idea that I have this situation. I've got 2x squared plus x minus 14 all over x squared minus 4. That is equal to 2 plus x minus 6 over x squared minus 4. Now, when I'm doing this, I'm not going to worry about the 2 because it's partial fractions. I'm going to worry about the fraction part. The fractional part is here. So when we're getting this done, we are going to do the fractional part. So I've got x minus 6 we're working with, x minus 2, x plus 2, and now I have a over x minus 2 plus b over x plus 2. And I will work the fractions the way I have been by clearing the fraction. A x plus 2a plus b x minus 2b. And I will combine them uh, the way we've been. So I've got a plus b x. And then I've got um, plus 2a minus 2b. Keeping in mind that I'm still working with x minus 6. So now I set up my relationships. I know a plus b is equal to 1. And I know that, uh, and maybe let's turn that in the blue. And I know 2a minus 2b is equal to negative 6. Well, if I multiply the top in the, the top row by 2, let's get that as a different color. I can just use linear combinations. So I have 2a plus 2b equal 2. And I've got 2a minus 2b equals negative 6. So I combine them. I got 4a equals negative 4. And a is equal to negative 1. Well, a is negative 1, and when that's negative 1, I can pop that back in and find out that b is 2, because negative 1 plus b is equal to 1, so b must therefore be 2. So my solution here, as I step through, is I have 2x squared plus x minus 14, all over x squared minus 4, is equal to 2 plus my a, which is negative 1, negative 1 over x minus 2, plus my b, which is 2 over x plus 2. Now, keep in mind, as you're looking through, the influences that these have on the graphs themselves. While well, I look them over, um, we got to get this extended. Something happened here. Okay. So as we step through, we've got to recognize what's happening here with our graphs. If I can pull them apart, we have the x equal 2, or the y equal 2 graph. And then we have the um, minus 2 is there. So this is the 2 over x plus 2 graph. And this is the um, negative 1 over x minus 2 graph, and they all combine to be the main graph of the function that we just did the partial um, fractions of. 
I hope this is going well for you as you go through. If you have any other concerns or anything, let me know. Oh, we have one last question. Here, we got to just break this down into decomposition. And I've got x squared minus 3x. And here I've got x squared plus 2x plus 5. This is irreducible. And I've got x minus 4 to the fourth. And I've got x plus 3. Now, keep in mind, when I do this partial fraction, I've got ax plus b all over x squared plus 2x plus 5 plus... Uh, C over X minus 4, that's my first time, D over X minus 4 squared, plus E over X minus 4 cubed, plus F over X minus 4 to the fourth, plus G over X plus 3. Okay, so that's this the decomposition in partial fraction form. And I hope things are going well. If there's any other questions, please let me know.